Well, Mrs. Womack, here are two of the top sumo wrestlers in one of their daily workouts. Asuma Fuji, who holds the rank of grand champion, and Ricky Dozan, wrestling champion of Japan and top sumo contender. Asuma Fuji approaches the ring first to perform the shiko, a traditional rite of preparation that has its origin more than 20 centuries ago when sumo was first evolved. In formal combat, he would also take a dipper of purifying water and scatter salt in the ring before him. There are no weight classifications in sumo as in boxing or wrestling, so a grand champion may face giants or small, wiry opponents. He has to be prepared for all comers. Even the attacks and strategies of sumo are formalized. This hold is churadashi. The opponent is defeated the moment he's lifted out of the ring. There are 11 different rankings in sumo, and it takes years of rugged training to reach the top. One opponent defeated, the sumo fuji immediately faces another. If either man touches a hand or any part of his body to the ground or steps out of the ring, the match is over. Notice in this view, Asuma Fuji wears the traditional chomagi, the top knot of hair, which will be ceremoniously cut off when he retires from sumo. Now, Ricky Dozen prepares to face his first opponent. The struggle for advantage. The sudden attack. The formal bow. And immediately he's ready to face another opponent. A maneuver called the Sukanagi. And Ricky Dozen makes way in the ring again for Asuma Fuji. Incidentally, the grand champion's ponderous bulk is no accident. It's carefully developed by consuming great quantities of chakanabe a dish relished by all sumo wrestlers because it increases their weight. In sumo, the bigger they are, the harder they are to throw off balance, as Asuma Fuji again demonstrates in this final match. Riki Dozen, Asuma Fuji. In Japan, famous names of the most popular of all sports. Mrs. Womack, you asked for it.